All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today I would like to share about how can you sync your Shopee or Lazada account with Kumo 10. Well, basically for the purpose of dropshipping and just a brief intro on what is dropshipping. Dropshipping is uh, basically an order fulfillment method that does not require you or a business to keep products you're selling in stock. So instead, the store, which is you, who sells the product, then you passes on you pass on the sales order to a third party supplier. Like for this example, be Kumo Ten. Then they will ship out your order directly to your customer. So you can do this uh, with Kumo Ten, save value to you and many more. But today I will just uh, show you how you can sync your product with. Kumo 10 in just uh, three simple steps, which is uh, you'll have to register an account and then step two will be to integrate your shop with uh, Kumo 10 and then choose a product and just uh, sync it. All right. So if you like the content, do remember to hit that like button and also to subscribe. I'll try my best to share new contents on a weekly basis. All right. Let's get started. So here are the auto order fulfillment on uh, Kumo 10, which is step one, the buyer shop at your Shopee store. Step two will be order info automatically sent to your Kumo 10 account. And then step three, you will have to pay the product cost price, which is I will show you later. Then step three, uh, sorry, step four, they will deliver directly to your buyer. And then once the transaction is done, Shopee will then pay you your order income there. And then the benefits with Kumo 10 will be like auto order fulfillment. We just talked about it just now. Uh, when you receive an order from Shopee, system will automatically fulfill your order. There is no need to copy and paste customer order details, their information and everything. And then systematic tracking ID management, delivery tracking ID will be generated as soon as the item is packed, which is your airway bill. And then the third will be you sell and we deliver. You can now focus on sales and marketing in Shopee while we handle all the product fulfillment matters. And then you will have automatically automatic stock balance update every hour with uh, Kumo 10. And then uh, no minimum order requirement. And also customer will not know item fulfilled by Kumo 10. Uh, this is because that the uh, Kumo 10 name on the parcel and contact details will not be on the parcel. They will basically use your airway bill, which is, which is by Shopee, where you put your uh, address, your contact name, and details there. So next will be easy select and sync. Basically, in just three steps, which is uh, you have to integrate Kumo 10 with your marketplace, which is for this example, we use Shopee. Uh, step two will be selecting your products, and step three will be sync to Shopee. So let's go to... You have to go, the first step will be going to www.kumo10.com. Then you have to click on start here. So once you're in this page, you have to go to drop shop, drop shipper login. Well, if you already have an account, you just have to uh, sign into your account. If not, just click on the register new account and fill up those information and you'll be ready to go soon. Login with Google or Facebook is uh, available. So once you're logged in, done registering and everything, you'll go ahead and click next, or you can just follow this tutorial. And then, so yeah, this is your dashboard where you can see your pending orders, your today sales, your profit, uh, 12 months, 30 days, your monthly your sales on the chart, your current balance will be here. And then uh, the first step, you want to link your shop. So you go ahead and clicking on integration here to start syncing your account. So here you can see all the available marketplace that is supported by Kumo 10, which is uh, Lazada, Shopee, Lelong, and Honeycomb. But uh, here you can see also your tutorial. There's a comprehensive guide here. You can just click on it and have a look there. Then you can see your status, uh, connected or not connected. And then, so you just have to sync your shop by clicking on the action tab. 
here. All right. So after doing that, you will go into this uh, page where you have to integrate with Lazada. So go ahead and click it. And then you have to sign in to your Lazada account or Shopee account and authorize the permission. Just key in your seller IDs, uh, email and password. And your of course your country, which is for this case will be Malaysia. So once you've done all that, you go ahead and once you're done thinking on that, you just uh, go to your, back to your dashboard and click on products. So let's start to search for products to sync to your shop. All right. Okay, for this example, let's say I want to sell, I want to look for a mobile and tablet, tablet case cover. All right. So I'll go into electronics, phone, tablet, accessories, mobile and tablet case cover. So click on that and then I found this uh, case for Samsung Galaxy S9. So here on the detail page, you can see their estimated delivery date, which is, uh, sorry, delivery time, which is around 7 to 14 working days. It's quite, um, quite some time because it's, uh, I think this one is an overseas supply. So then you can see your dropship price, which is, this is your cost price that you have to pay to Komoten. And then you'll have the suggested selling price where it's 30 ringgit 20 cent, which is, uh, you can call this as a recommended retail price. Then you can see on the top there, which you have like a rocket or spaceship, I guess. It's a blue and orange color, right? So basically the blue one means that this item, this particular item is uh, available with one click sync. And while the orange one means that is for Shopee. So if it's colored, this means that the one click thing is available. Basically, um, you just click on add to my store and you don't have to edit anything. It's just everything is uh, already prepared. And then the uh, tick check button is, uh, the mean, it means that this particular item has already been added to your store. All right, so go ahead to click on add to my store. So once you've clicked on that, you will say added to my store done. So you just go click on go to my store. So now on your dashboard in Kumo 10, you can see that the product has been added to your uh, list of uh, products here. So once it's there, you can just uh, go ahead and click on the sync button, whereas if you have linked your all of your account here, like Shopee, Lazada, Lelong, and all that, you can uh, click one by one to sync the product. So let's go ahead and click on it. So it ask you, it prompt you again, sync to Shopee, and then you can edit your details. You can go ahead and click on edit details here if you want to change the name or details or anything. So for this case, we'll just go ahead and click yes because everything is there already. So once you, they will prompt you again, they will say here, good job, your product has been successfully uploaded. Please check the product details at your marketplace. So it's asking you to go to Shopee and have a look if the product is added on. Usually it takes about um, average around 10, 10 to 30 seconds or even sometime one minute. Then you can uh, see here, the sync button now, the Shopee logo has, uh, has colors on it. This means that it is already linked, is already synced to your Shopee account. So once you're done, you can go to your Shopee account and you can see that the product is already here. See, it's added just like that in a few clicks. And I guess basically that's it. You're done. Thank you guys. Happy selling.